Brandon Silvers was a dual threat as he led Troy to a big road victory at New Mexico State, earning him Sunbelt Football Offensive Player of the Week. Silvers combined for 335 yards of total offense with 286 through the air and 21 on the ground. The senior sealed Troy's victory with a 32-yard touchdown as he kept on an option read as New Mexico State crashed the middle on Jordan Chun on fourth and one and Silvers went around the right end. Appalachian State's Anthony Flory set career highs with nine tackles and two sacks in the conference opening win at Texas State, earning him Sunbelt Football Defensive Player of the Week. The junior was also credited with a pair of quarterback hurries. Flory helped App State limit the Bobcats to 13 points and contributed to a Mountaineer defense that clamped down to allow only six points and four Texas State trips to the red zone. South Alabama's Gus Nave returned a blocked field goal 83 yards for the Jags' first touchdown of the night, helping him earn Sunbelt Football Special Teams Player of the Week. The blocked field goal for a touchdown sparked a stretch late in the first quarter in which South scored 21 points in less than three minutes to break open the game. Nave later added his first career interception and chipped in a career-high tying three tackles on defense to help South Alabama record its first shutout since October 2010 and the program's largest margin of victory ever against an NCAA Division I opponent. Congratulations to Troy's Brandon Silvers, Appalachian State's Anthony Flory, and South Alabama's Gus Nave, your Week 3 Sunbelt Football Players of the Week fueled by Community Coffee.